Hello kids, I'm the Finger Dog, and today we're going to look at geometric shapes. Wow, let's take a look. First of all, let's look at some of the geometric definitions. Let's match the definitions with the pictures. See if you can at home. Which one is the point? Get your answer and see if you got it right. Yes, this is point G. How much fun is that? <laughs> Which one is Ray? Yes. This one is the ray. Which one is a line? You got it. Goes on in both directions. Very good. Which one is the line segment? Just like the line you stand in in school. Yes, this one. It has a beginning and an end. It does not go on forever. Which one is the straight angle? If you picked this, you are right. It is angle EFG and it is a straight line. Of the last two, which one is perpendicular? If you said the one that looks like a cross or a T, you are right, just like an intersection. And parallel, yes, it has to be this one. It goes on and on in both directions. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Our next slide talks about acute angles and obtuse angles. Take a look at our options. Which ones are acute? Which ones are obtuse? I'm not going to do this right now because we're going to do it together in class but you can get a sneak preview by pausing your screen right now, writing them down, and bringing it tomorrow. Okay. Let's move on. These are geometric shapes that you need to add to your geometry journals. <laughs> Polygons are two-dimensional figures that have straight sides and are closed. So check it out. This circle is not a polygon. It doesn't have any straight sides. It's rounded. This shape, not a polygon. It's not closed. There's a wide open side here. This is a polygon. The sides are straight, straight lines, and it is closed. There are no openings. This triangle, also a polygon. Straight lines, no openings. Pretty cool. <laughs> Triangles are the simplest polygon. Triangles have three sides, three angles, and the angles always add up to 180 degrees when we use our protractors. There are three types that you've got to know. <laughs> First, we have the equilateral triangle. There are three sides, and they're all the same length. The angles, if you measure them with a protractor, are all 60 degrees. So this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and this angle is 60 degrees. Triangles always add up to be 180 degrees when you measure all three of the inside triangles. But if they all, each, uh, excuse me, if each angle is 60 degrees, you know you have an equilateral triangle. Write that down, write these two definitions down, and write a, and draw a picture of what it looks like with the degrees drawn inside. Pause it, draw it, and continue. Okay, our second is an isosceles triangle. What a fun name. Isosceles has two equal angles. So this angle and this angle are the same as each other. 
this angle is not the same as the other two. So there are only two equal angles. Also, this side and this side are also the same, but they are not the same as this side right here. So there are two equal sides and two equal angles. Go ahead, write that down, draw a picture, unpause it, and come back. Okay, finally, the scalene triangle. This side is a different length than this side, and this side is a different length than this side. All of the sides are different lengths. All of the angles inside, this one, this one, and this one, are all different. They do have to add up to be 180 degrees because it's a triangle, but they do not have any of the same angles, and that's what makes it a scalene. So you need to know an equilateral triangle and what that is. You need to know an isosceles triangle and what that is, and you need to know what a scalene triangle and what that is, the definitions of each. So make sure you have those written down and you have them somewhere safe. You will need to know those for the test. A right triangle is another type of triangle. It features a right angle, and we know that right angles are 90 degrees. Makes sense, right? A right triangle features a right angle. You see that this right here is your 90 degree angle. It has our little box or edge of the paper that makes it look like it's 90 degrees. Is this triangle scalene or isosceles? Can a right triangle be equilateral? Can any triangle ever have parallel sides? Those are three questions I would like for you to answer and bring to class tomorrow. It'll be fun! <laughs>